What's up guys, Senator here, and today we are playing VTOL VR, and as you can tell, this is a VR fighter pilot game, and I've spent some time playing this game, I've been really enjoying it, it's got a steep learning curve, and this is probably as close as you can get to realism without breaking your brain, like a normal person could come in here, spend hours learning the mechanics, and still have a good time. So it's not too hard, but it's hard enough to where you feel a real sense of accomplishment when you're able to when you're able to complete these missions. And these missions are difficult from what I've seen and what I've attempted so far. I haven't really attempted very many missions yet. I've been waiting to really record it, sit down and record it. So I've I've just now gotten the hang of the controls, and so we're gonna play my pretty much my first mission. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are in the cockpit, and as you can tell very complicated it took me hours to just learn how to start the plane and let alone learn how all the weapon systems work and all that good jazz so i'm turning my target computer turning on my radar this is for air to air this is pretty much for air to ground uh go put my flaps on turn on my hud that matter display my visor so it follows me wherever i go review mirror down hello Turn on the right engine. Okay. Pivot. Pivot. Okay. Let's go out to taxi. Okay. Let's line her up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in three. Two, one. Got the afterburners on. Lift up. And we're airborne, ladies and genitals. Okay, coming from the east. Okay, we got a bogey. Uh, they're locking on to me. Dip a little lower. Try to get them from the side. See, they lost me because I went below the mountain. Okay, now he's picking me up again. <laughs> I want to get a little bit closer because that's it gives him a lot of time to really avoid the missile. Okay. Oh, I saw him. Oh, there's a. Oh! I'm too low. Come on. Lock on, lock on. Okay, I lost him beyond the horizon. That's not gonna hit him. Good job on his part. I wanna try to keep that little circle inside my big circle before I hit Pitbull. When it says Pitbull, that means that it's locked on and it's got guiding itself. Pitbull, so okay, so it's locked on, I've done all I can do. Let's see if it gets him. Hit him, hit him, hit him! Ah. Uh, that's my radar missile. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him! Let's go! Let's go! Okay, Pitbull, see if he gets him. I think he got him. Yeah, I got him! Let's go! America. Pitbull. Pitbull, okay. It's, it's got him then. That had to have gotten him. How is he still alive?
Okay, there he goes. There he goes! Sit down! You're done. If those, like, uh, Air Force recruiters just, like, took an Oculus to a high school, they would get so many kids signing up. Just give them this game, and all of them would be signing up. Like, hire me, Air Force. I can be your recruiter. I know I have no military experience, but I, I can I can persuade these kids to to join join your organization. I'm guessing I have to go to the Triangle because it's been there for a while, and I don't see anybody on radar. So to the Triangle, I should go. But this is a thousand pound bomb on that little target. Open fire. That's gotta get it. That's gotta get it. I got it! Let's go! I'm the best. I mean, I wake up in the morning and I piss excellence. Okay, guys, so that was mission one of this campaign. Now, this is mission two. Basically, last time they attacked us, so we're gonna take it to them and go get them. At least that's what I got from the mission log or report, whatever it is, my briefing, one would call it. So, this is a surprise attack. They don't want us to use radar, so I'm gonna use GPS to really navigate. Um, I don't have very many air to air. I only have two like air to air missiles. Everything else is air to ground because again, we're attacking and I have those guys to protect me. Uh, I'm gonna be low pretty much the entire time, just trying to stay out of their radar range so they don't see me. So yeah, that's pretty much the plan. That's what I got from the mission log, mission brief, whatever. Uh, not vision on. Let's ride, boys. Oh my god, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're good. It's just a $130 million jet. Kind of going off the edge, but we're fine. We're fine, ladies and genitals. We're fine. Like a dream. Okay, so let's look at what we got in terms of weapons. Got my Vulcan, which is my minigun. Got Kagum sixes. Got four of those things. And basically, those are like anti-tank cluster bombs. Like you drop one bomb and like six mini bombs come out of it. It's great. Aim nine. That's uh, anti-air typically, but it, I think it can be used on ground targets. It's basically uh, heat-seeking missiles. Those are radar-guided missiles. Mk 83s. Those are 1,000-pound bombs. So those are those are always fun. That's what I got in terms of a loadout. Again, 53 miles away, so it shouldn't be there for too long. I'll get it to like 600 miles an hour. Stay at that speed, so it'll be about four minutes, four or five minutes to get there. But you're not gonna see all that, because of course I'm gonna edit that out, because no one wants to watch me fly for five minutes straight above these beautiful mountains. Hey, I got my wingman. Hey, I got wingman. Go, go, go! Go, go! And those guys are way up there. They're definitely going to get detected. See, you're already getting shot at because you went too high. Gotta stay low. This is a surprise attack! Surprise attack! It's not much of a surprise anymore! Okay, I'm guessing there's over this just crest this hill Altitude. and there will be their base we're fine we're fine we're fine we're fine, we're fine. oh yeah they're gonna be right over this hill it's an awful spot to put a base Dang it. I'm hit. I'm hit. I'm hit. The mission goes on. The mission goes on.
What did they hit? Dang it! Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. We gotta book it, we gotta get in and out, in and out. Let's see if I got him. There's only one more left. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, gotta push it into the ground. Push it into the ground. Only got one? I dropped two bomb. Okay. Okay, I have four. Okay, I only have six. Six anti. Ooh, this is not good. This is a good little angle. We got it, boys. Let's uh, show me where the next one's at. Okay. Altitude. 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 Whoa! Whoa! No! Are you serious? I'm dying. Help me. Crush my cock with a rock, I must. Close, boys. This is the closest we've been so far. Shit, these shots, we get to go home. Here we go.
flares up, flares up. Yes, let's go! Let's go! Got him. Return to base. Oh my god. We did it! There it is, boys. There it is! You can do it, Senator. You can do it. You can do it. Uh, I need to get down quicker. Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And that's how it's done, boys! That's how we do it! And we're there. We did it. We did it. Let's go. Hey guys, thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a like and comment down below whether or not you want to see me play more Beetle VR. I enjoyed this game very much. There's a ton of content to go in this game. There's multiplayer. There's a huge variety of campaigns and scenarios on the base game, and there's community-made maps. So there's an abundance of con content in this game. I enjoy it a lot, and it's very difficult. This is one of the few games out that I have ever played, or it's it's really rare to see them nowadays. Games that are actually challenging but it feels so rewarding to complete missions. Like this mission took me four hours to complete. Never thought it'd take me four hours to complete the mi complete a mission, but hey, it was fun. I enjoyed it and it's very rewarding. So again, thank you for sticking around to the end of the video and as always, have a good one.